One of the other issues that keeps coming up constantly, drugs, heroin, overdoses, mm-hmm. all races, all faiths, uh, regardless of your financial background, poor, rich, middle class, uh, we need to fight more. We need to make sure that you're properly informed. These officers are great. They really are. I don't have to praise them. You know them. You see them. They know you. Let them know when you see drugs being sold. And I am no supporter, I have to tell you. I'm guilty of it. I don't believe in decriminalization of anything. Because everything is a gateway to something else. If it's marijuana, tomorrow it's pills, the day after it's cocaine and crack and then heroin. And you need to stay focused and vocal and let them know I don't care what it is and don't take for granted that you think the NYPD knows it all. Share it. And if the more they hear it, the more they look into it. You put it on their radar. We have to care about this community and the children. We need to be the eyes and the ears for them. Obviously, they can't be out everywhere. They can't, no. We talk about the uh, officers that are now guarding our religious institutions. In the freest country in the world, the most democratic country in the world, uh, something that's core to our values, the freedom to your religious choice, I mean, folks, this is not the America, this is not where I, I want my children to even experience, let alone be a part of. Not only the religious institutions that are under threat, our own <coughs> officers are under threat. Do you realize that on a 24-hour basis, seven days a week, you have two officers that are going to sit outside the command of the station to make sure that it's safe? Well, Jesus, if there are people that are protecting us need protection. Well, what about us? <coughs> so please say something when you see something. And I'm not referring to making complaints that uh, aren't real issues. But there's a 311 call center, 911 call center. We have some great community reps that are willing to take your calls. They have... Everyone has their cell phones. They pick them up. The captain picks up your call. They want to know. So if you're not sure, and you don't want to make an issue out of something that may be a non-issue, here's your choice. The community people, the officers that we see out there, they're happy to take note and let you know, and maybe even put you at ease. With that, I don't know. I just want to share with you in Albany. We're working really hard. We're passing a budget, a very small budget, a neighborhood of $152 billion. And your representatives up there are making sure that this area, this borough of the Bronx, gets what it's entitled to. We all want to share that pie. We want our slice of the pizza. And we want to make sure that your interests are served, from education to seniors to safety to quality of life. You've got some great elections up there working from Michael Benedetto to Senator mm. Klein. Uh, obviously, the city councilman is doing his part down here. But you have some great representatives. You have a great neighborhood. Thank you. God bless all of you. Thank you. I don't do immigration. 
I do both, which makes me become even more busy. Every ish, everything that happens in this area, the whole coast phrase, really, is, it's insane. And I, and I, all the other elected officials get calls on post listen, they come to my desk. And they, there's, a, there's a lot of work. There's a reason why the post office, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not <laughs> And uh, he's dead against the disbanding of the ACA, the you know, Affordable Care Act. Joe's not going to take me, no, it's sitting down. <laughs> I guess one thing is it's going to give us something else and he's not going to make it and it's just going to sit there and I got two things in there because that will lead to, I know Yon said 19 million people without health care, so that can't happen. And uh, Joe stood outside the other day, uh, last night, with Ben Collins for the night to, for tonight's announcement, who I just found out was Neil Bush. Of course, he's nominated. Not, 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 not. And, um,
Yeah. It's going to be on the news tonight. But uh, and also uh, body cameras. All officers by 2019, I believe, are, are going to have body cameras. So Finally, that's fantastic. All so, right, all right. So then, and lastly, I just want to say, I'll, I'll mention you, you are, are my congressman. Um, congressman Crowley, the past week or two oh, has God. been on fire, and I am so proud to have him as my congressman. He has been fighting my Thursday, and I have about on Thursday evening, and I was here at Thanksgiving, the last meeting in, in November, and we talked about our fellowship dinner, which is going to be this Thursday night. I know it's last minute, but we do have about 15 tickets left. The tickets are $40, and it's going to be a fundraiser also. From that, the clergy have decided we also want to have a scholarship we want to award to our community. We just want to also announce, because I have um, Gracie who sits on our event committee, in March, in April, we'll be having our community dinner where we want to honor members breakfast. of the community. A community breakfast. Mm-hmm. And we want to honor community uh, members, so we hope that you can get involved with our clergy council when we have different events. Please try to show up. But again, I'll be waiting. I do have about 15 tickets left, so if you have the money for that, you can see me. If not, you can call me, 917-769-4449. 917-769-4449. You can give me a call tomorrow and and we need to just make sure we need to confirm that because it's uh, you know, the CD is kind of reduced at this point. So, again, we want to thank God for um, uh, Captain Alps. Alps, he's done a terrific job, and all of our community council, Ms. Joe Knight, our elected officials, looking as sharp as ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're just, we're just grateful. We thank God for another year. And I, I just close, and one thing I'm for Rabbi Thompson, part of I just want to close by saying, even in this year, we see so much turmoil and chaos going on in our country. Yet the fact of the matter, it doesn't matter who's in the White House. <clears throat> From a religious standpoint, we thank God because he's on the throne. He's the ultimate ju- God and the ultimate judge. So we want to just keep praying. Well, I so 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 Sometimes we see things and we don't say anything. Then you come to our meetings and you complain about your block, your drugs, mm-hmm. uh, this and that. And we don't know anything. We need your help. You don't want to come to Morris Park? I'm sure you could go to the assembly office. 
He will help. We need you guys. We also need volunteers. If you see our patrol guys, and I'm proud of them because it's, we have Filipinos, Spanish, Irish, we may disagree at times, but again, we cannot demand or pretend because they are volunteers. They don't get paid. Like we don't get paid. You don't want to talk to me or Sylvia or Lefty. We have a secretary. Call in the morning, they will give us the information and we will call you back. We have meetings by weekly. Our meeting is tomorrow night. So you're welcome to stay overnight. You get the first stop to be here tomorrow. You get the first seat. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, we had few issues in the neighborhood. Uh, we took care of it. Thanks to the captain. Uh, and Jay. Jay is on call 24 7. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, other than that, I have nothing else. Yes, ma'am, you have a question? Yes. No. What the no, number no, to no, call no, you? No question. No question. No question. What the what number, number, number to call you? The association number. Your cell phone number. Can you give it to her? 718 <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, now see how we work together. Thanks. Thank you. Absolutely. We're an alliance. We're an alliance. Thank you. And it's, it's the Van Ness Neighborhood Alliance. B-N-N-A. Van Ness Neighborhood Alliance. It's a long one. Good evening. My, my name is Bernadette Ferrara. I'm the President of the Van Ness Neighborhood Alliance. Um, I want to welcome the new captain. I'm sorry you're not going to make our meeting on Monday night, uh, which is Monday, February 6th, and hopefully March 6th. We'll see you. Come to see our uh, Van Ness. Um, uh, as far as Van Ness goes, it's been, things have been quiet. Um, but one of the questions that was asked to me is, has, have there been increased burglaries in the Van Ness area. So I would really like to know if that's something that you can um, let me know about so that I can bring it back to the meeting. Um, Pat, do you yeah, there has. There has. Um, especially uh, last week, we took, uh, I want to say it was four residential burglaries. Where? Four residential burglaries. Really? In four burglaries. And then we took um, two commercials. We locked up the individual for uh, uh, burglary. The individual uh, that's responsible for the four residential burglaries, again, when we make great arrests, it's really the community involved. Uh, one of the residents actually tried hold of it. And uh, he, he got away, uh, but he dropped his jacket. So, <laughs> what happened is, we're going to process that jacket, we anticipate getting DNA off it, we anticipate he's going to have a criminal history, we're going to anticipate that we'll identify him and arrest him. We think he's going to be part of a larger pattern that's down in the 4 3 precinct. You go over. Uh, Parkchester. Yeah, Parkchester area. Yeah. Uh, so we're confirmed with the Port 3 squad. Um, so we anticipate an arrest shortly. Um, and we got good video speed. So we took a beating last week with six burglaries. It's a lot a week. Uh, but Could you tell me um, uh, around which block? Was it Taylor or Melville? What is it? Melville. Melville. Yes, we did have the camera. I assume home in Melville would be all yes. of them. Brian. Bingo. So it was on Melville. There was like two of them on all these. There was three, on them. three, on three on Melville? Okay. Wow. Um, Let's make it an even four. Yeah, he's, um, you know, like a 
time of opportunity. He's pushing a car. Uh, I think he's probably a car break guy. Um, most likely a game user. Um, so, with that being said, I think we're in good shape. It's, okay. I get worried about the time for We have no um, uh, We have no evidence. Sometimes you just gotta wait for the next one. Hopefully, you get on that. Right. The 49 precinct has been doing an excellent job investigating crime. And when they, when we get hit with these type of patterns, we're making arrests. So that's a good thing. So when we take those people off, relatively few amount of people in this in this command is, is hurt. This command. If we can take those people out, like those people I named, those are big numbers. So I was rolling into 2017 with those people taken off the street, and I was saying to myself, "We're good," because these are the people that. Hello, 49 I'm Officer Mendoza, the Crown Prevention Officer. I just want to add one thing about the burglaries that happened in the Venice area. Uh, the one common thread between all the burglaries is that the, front, the, the doors to these homes were actually unlocked and open. So he basically just walked in to these places. Um, People, I don't so, understand why people do that. Of course, that would be So, if you happen to have a door to your own, I'd like to add something with something that Joe and I had said about our, sa our neighborhoods making them safer, and especially for our children of the future, especially with all the narcotics, etc. The one thing that our safe community does not have to occupy our children, our tweens, etc. <coughs> we do not have a community center, both in Morris Park mm -hmm. and Venice. Even I grew up here since the 50s. We do not have a community center for our safe middle class neighborhood. And we need something for these children so that they don't go to the drugs, etc. We need something to give them an alternative. So for all of the elected officials and Please put this on your list of something that our community needs and we deserve, and it's something that um, should be a priority. So I just wanted to say that. For the summer. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Um, I want to thank you so much, Captain Alps, for that arrest. Um, you guys kept on top of it, and uh, one of the robbers that we had was caught, and we hope that the other one is soon to follow, and we're going to help you as much as we can to uh, get any and all information uh, through our merchants and through our channels to make sure that he's caught. Um, we are very happy that you're getting the money for the robin's neck. We know that it's needed. We need lights on the Zay Park. Uh, this is more so for the, uh, for the elected officials. Um, our kids get out at 3, 4 o'clock at school. It gets dark at 4.30. Mm -hmm. Not fair to them. And we need lights in PS89 Park, otherwise known as the Zay Park on, on Williams Bridge and Mace. So please make note. Please help us light up that court because we all know the Pelham Parkway houses over there are dealing a lot of drugs and heroin is now in those houses. So uh, we need to keep these kids safe and keep the lights out and keep the cockroaches away. Um, and then we need help with the, uh, the quality of life issues. We really want to buckle down on the uh, delivery guys not following the traffic patterns. Yes. Um, we're going to help talk to these, uh, these um, uh, business owners as well, but we need your help, um, as well as blocking the sidewalk because it's a quality of life issue that's stressing mm -hmm. out our residents. And it's been going on for two or three years, and, and we tried to work with the merchant, but after two or three years, you can only work so much. So uh, we it put in a call, you guys that. responded immediately, and we thank you. However, they're still putting garbage in the, in the tree beds of their merchandise and, and their, uh, their boxes and their goods. Um, and we know it's not authorized. So I like the owner. He's a good man. Uh, sometimes his brother manages the property and doesn't do the right thing, and he feels his hands are tied. But at the same time, the mental health of our residents are very important, and, and we want to work together and make sure that this is taken seriously. That when people are coming off the train from a hard day of work, they're not funneled into a, a one cube radius, mm -hmm. and then a flyer man is posted right there. So, generally through the hours of 4:30 to 6, if you guys could just check it out, if any of the patrols can just go by and make sure he's on top of it, because I get calls constantly about that particular issue and it stresses out the residents. But otherwise, uh, the 60 days have been amazing. We thank you for the transition. It's been good. Tom Parkway Neighborhood Association. Andrea? No. The camp um, helps a lot. I really have very little complaints about what's going on in Tom Parkway. Um, I haven't heard. Unfortunately, I've been ill, so I haven't been out too much. I haven't heard much. Um, all I know about it is. Unfortunately, um, and what I just heard about the five shots out of Columbus High School, uh, second time in 14 months that there's been a shooting within a few hours of dismissal. I've mentioned it several times here, but that school is in disarray. The superintendent, Karan Staple, has, in her principles, is, uh, what's the term? Um, you know, the people she likes and the principals are horrible. The students aren't happy. The staff is happy. I urge elected officials to uh, stay on top of what's happening there, because it's only going to get worse. Um, uh, crime issues. Um, we'd urge, um, as we said, keep a visible presence at Alice and White Plains Road. It's a very busy area. You can undercover whatever you want. But, um, just, 
Um, the is car breakage um, on White Plains Road. I haven't witnessed any, but I, I have seen cash under side windows with tape and bag on it, so that's a clear sign. <laughs> Same areas, um, and the other area is White Plains Road by Walgreens between Waring and Mace. On that side, also on the center light side, I saw, um, I see the evidence, I see the glass on the floor, so that block, as well as Holland Avenue block by one, MS 135, both sides, very dark, very desolate. 20, 20, 2750 uh, Boston. Thank you for your arrest and you know, hold up at 2541 Olin Avenue. You said uh, Bennington something. Yes. Yes. Um, that, that person held up was actually an, is an employee of Beth Abraham and it's a long time, I think. But he does appreciate all the um, feedback that the, the communication with the police have had with him. Regarding it, um, you know Councilman Baca's office about this, but um, our group is pushing pushing for traffic controls at 2440 Boston Road, which is the NYCHA Senior Center. If we can have either a pedestrian island, um, my group requested a traffic light once, DOT denied it two years ago. If we could request a study again, have Councilman Baca push on it. Um, one of my board members almost got hit by a car. So, and look, it's not, a, it's, yes, I did. Um, it, I just want to bring it up in public. It's not a legal crossing, but Everyone crosses there because it is very far to go to Waring, mm -hmm. it's very far to go to Mace. So, like Williams Ridge Road between Mace and Waring, mm -hmm. we can have something like that at 2440 Boston Road. Um, that would be great. Um, finally, I'll, I'm going to speak to my board, but um, Romina, thank you for the information on the CUNY New Year Rights Workshop. I think it's incumbent on every single civic organization, regardless of the politics, to have an immigrant's rights. Um, workshop to benefit the immigrants, to, be to benefit, benefit all the, the Muslim community, as we can see, is in full effect tonight. Um, this is a very pressing issue. Also, February 7th is uh, Deputy Inspector Keith Walton's court date, February 7th. Thank you.